How you doing? This is Don. I am the Gun Muse, and we are able to create test conditions that we were never able to create before because of the Uncharted Seas event in Guns of Glory. So let's go over some of the test conditions. Uh, this is directly related to the firewall the discussion that's going on in my Discord channel. Uh, because there's a lot of confusion about what the firewall is doing for you. It's putting strategy on the board. Okay, that's what the firewall does for you. It gives you options to stick in it. Especially in a no-loss event like this where you can let people hit you. It's not hurting you. You lose all your troops in the Uncharted Seas events. Click heal. They come right back in a day and a half. They come back in five minutes with a little bit of gold. Uh, and if you got your boxes wrapped up to backs. You can have it everything back in a few minutes. So, what's the condition we created? So, here's my scenario that I set up. We had a guy scouting us. And I think in the uh, last video, I, uh, you know, when the guy scouted, I went over and I hit the, the things. So, I said, well, I'm not going to heal those up. Because, as you can see in here, I, I was killing more than I was losing. But I was losing marches, you know, 700,000, blah, blah, blah. Uh... Some of these are incoming, but I was whittling down my top tier marches. Okay. And everybody goes, how does the firewall work against uh, mega rallies? There I killed 3 million and only lost 1.9 million of my low-end troops when I, my firewall was full. But I'm in here taking these hits. All right. And then you let it whittle down. I think I forgot to save some of the things because there's a date jump here. I think Guns of Glory reset something because I got all the stuff you saw in the previous film. I don't have a star next to. That was ten four. That was the, that was just eight hours. It was it was earlier this evening that I let them that I did all those outward hits to whittle down my top marches to mimic a battle situation. All right. What do I need to fight with? And when I take out my top end marches. And all I got left is the bottom of the firewall. Can I survive the biggest guys in the game? Or at least in my in my version of the game. Okay. So we're going to have the usual jackasses. That's because that's the one that likes to hit without asking. All you just do is ask. I'd set it up for him. But I knew he'd be over here. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for one of these top stack guys. It's not even hard when I know what you're going to do before you do it, but you think you caught me off guard. So I got to call you a jackass because you're probably over there jerking off going, oh man, I got him. No, you got you got led to the pond so I can get some data. Uh, and I can see where he's, you know, he hadn't added any top attack, but he did add a little bit of stats down here in the bottom uh, since we last hit. And you can see I've added a little bit. I'm over 11,000 my troop attack now. Uh, and I still got damages up on them. <clears throat> and I still got some stuff I got hidden that's not out there for everybody to see. I, you know, for those who are just watching last year, you know, over the four years prior, I never let anybody hit me that I didn't have stats to add to my account after the hit. Never let them go back. And post up in Discord and uh, line groups your stat report. Because then the next guy goes, oh, I can take that. And then he finds a different wall. <laughs> it It's just part of being, I mean, I can't go into New World with my gun muse tag on without everybody wanting to test it. Right? And it's just annoying because all I want to do is get my, get my stuff done in 20 minutes and get out of there. Uh, so I got to change my name to go in New World. And then you got the trolls who go in there and they copy my trademark name just to be trolls. You know, so I quit doing New World because of that. Enough of that. Uh, it's how petty you are while calling me a dick that just makes me sad for you that you do not know. You have no ability to walk outside your hell, house and, and communicate with another human. You, you have no skill set. Because doing this didn't change your personality. Your personality is coming through. You saw an opportunity because you lost a couple marches to me a couple uh, weeks ago. I knew who lost the marches to me. That's what that's who that is down there, right? Oh, we, we, we can go show that. Oh, that's that one's I saved. Uh, da, 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 da. Wonder why Drew's pissed, not Ivar. 
I won't show you this. Yeah. Oh, that was Ivar losing the second one. Uh, there's Dave. He's one of the mega rallies that just hit me. And there's Drew, who's one of the mega rallies who just hit me. All right, both 14,000 top set guys. Um, but there's them. There's why they hit me. Right? Because I offered Ivar the ability to hit my castle. And they jumped over and decided they were going to do it after Ivar did. Figured I was whittled down enough. And this is what solo hits is for the firewall. So they know they can't do it by themselves no more. Now they got to go get 14 of their friends to be jackasses with them. The, uh, if you're laughing and giggling about me setting you up to fail, but, you, but Guns of Glory said that you won, let me just explain the simple firewall strategy. It takes you five minutes to launch a mega rally. It takes you the speed of a mega rally that you cannot speed up to hit my castle. This is not KVK. I'm going to port. And you better be so fast with the mega rally disband that everybody's troops go right back to their castle because I'm going to pick off all your weaklings that join that mega rally. Zero them right out. Now your ability to fill a mega rally just went down. Let's rinse and repeat. Let's have 20 of my guys do that. That's what the firewall does. It gives me options in case there's a mistake. The uh, I know I can, I can get in there and mix it up one-on-one -on -one all day long. I could take your mega rallies off the board because they were designed for KVK towers. They were not designed for, for castle hits. But I need data to know how far I can let my firewall whittle down and actively jump around and engage and whittle things down. I need to know how long my castle can stay in the fight. So this is good testing times. And plus, I get honor out of it. Let's, let's stop BS around there. I mean, I got something out of this. Uh, my boxes are going to come back here in a little bit. I'm still killing threats. I'm killing little things. I just jumped back in my territory. You can't touch me now. La, la, la. Uh, the uh, We hadn't gotten into fighting with the core group of 592 yet. The uh, That's phase three. Maybe. Uh, and some of these guys who like to just whittle things down. I just saw Captain Jack uh, actually jumped way up on the, uh, the board. Uh, Buccaneer jumped way up on the, on the murder board. The uh, And I know neither of those are out there killing tiles. So for them to be in the top 20 over there, they're engaging you. And they're winning. Uh, and I don't believe they're gauging 591 like we are. 591 being the bigger, uh, in our little group, 591 is the biggest uh, of the castles in there. Uh, but, and this is an education of 591 as much as anything. There's no animosity there. Uh, I just know what that kind of personality is going to do and when they're going to do it. Uh, all I had to do is, the guy, they, they stick a C26 farm out there for me to hit. And they, they think they're suckering me out of my territory to do it. And that, that's, I know what the trap is. I think I videoed it four years ago. Uh, <laughs> I, I do love all, all, all the fans out there, guys. But uh, at some point, you got to realize I probably shot the video on everything you try to teach me. Unless it's something new and you're telling me where it's at because I can't see it. Uh, and I do always appreciate that. So... The necessity of the firewall is going to put a strategy back on the table. And right now, the uh, Uncharted Seas is giving me a much, much cheaper testing platform than I've ever had before. There is no excuse for other YouTubers not to be testing. None. This is damn near free. You can replace your march every three days for free get your research done get a couple days worth of clicks done start testing you can do what i've been doing for years yes me spending money on troops was always a better option was the only option before but you don't need that anymore as long as uncharted seas exist you can make better content so push those other guys to start determining what they can and can't do and 
unfortunately determine what they do and don't know. Uh, I have a feeling that many of them are not going to show defeats up on the board like I do. Uh, you, you've got to show those defeats. You don't know where you don't know where your limits are. I know what it takes to win the fight every time. What I don't know is how long I can go winning as my troops whittle down. And I'm trying to find inside the firewall where the failure point happens first so that I can go adjust that row of the firewall to be a little stronger to get me an extra five minutes. My goal right now is five more minutes of fight time to improve the firewall for five more minutes of fight time. Uh, to use, utilize this with my big big strategy to take out the, the all the guys under the mega, uh, we're looking at 22 to 25,000 gold uh, just in ports uh, and probably another 25,000 gold in speed hits and just to slow the other team down for a little bit. Sometimes all you got to buy is five or six minutes. And right now I'm trying to find that five minutes for you. We're going to put it into the calculator. Uh, I don't always tell you that I've updated the calculator, but the calculator has been updated like nine times. Uh, so it does change. Uh, there's little number differences that go on in there. So, and for those who are going, hey, I just got that are in the new kingdoms learning about the firewall. Rogers Raiders, you join up $2 a month. You get the firewall math. It saves you from somebody zeroing out your castle while you're sleeping. All right. Unless you're doing something silly like me, like setting your castle up for a mega rally trap. All right. The, uh, so we had Drew's stats. We want to give everybody Drew's stats. Because when you think you're clever, then I can give everybody out there that's got to fight you your stats. And tell you that you can take that mega rally uh, if you use the full firewall. I promise you. Your stats are close to mine. Anytime you get over 20%. There's a monstrous advantage. So a mega rally with more than 20%, which he's got on all these stats. Uh, honestly, I would have thought he'd have killed more. To be, to be fair, what I thought the results were going to be and what the results I see are not the same. I really thought he would have got into the three and a half to four million of my troops. He did not. Uh... And then so the next MAGA rally that landed two minutes later. So they started them both at the same time. Uh, let's look at that. Battle details. Oops. Wait a minute. Benefit details. Uh, he's even got higher stats. So 15,600. He's well out of that 20% range. He's over 30, He's at 30%. And I had way fewer troops for him to go in there and kill. Uh, so that winds up being the result of their rally was over 50% of the troop count in my castle. Okay, Had I had the 8 million based on Dave's hit, which I don't even think I had 8 million for Dave. Let me go back and look. Yes, I had 8 million for Dave. Uh, the If I had had the 8 million, it would have been a similar number. Probably closer to 2.5 mil, but I would have ate through their rally, too. I would have ate up a bunch of the rally troops. Now, remember, they can repeat these rallies real quick because they're not losing their whole march most of the time. I did eat, uh, I mean, I ate this whole march. Now, this is somebody, you're mega rallying me as a bigger player with my firewall. You don't even stand a chance. The uh, this is this is considered equal in the uh, range math of twenty percent for uh, Guns of Glory. Guns of Glory tries to give a no no big monsters advantage to anybody that's not more than twenty percent, but they can't ignore somebody who spent a fortune on their game and hand them losses, trying to make you happy because some you got hit by a corner. So we have figured out that the math a long time ago is about twenty percent is what the breaking point is to where they just annihilate you. Uh, so these guys are 30% above me. They can't kill me one-on-one -on -one because of the firewall. And I just don't have to let the mega rally hit. 
I can just, you know, be where they are not. You've heard me say this many times. This is true in the towers of KVK, too. Big monsters come jumping in there to kill everybody. Don't be there. They can't hit what's not there. There's no sense giving your money away for free. But in the uncharted seas, stretch yourself out. See what you can do for defenses because it's a no-loss thing. You should be doing this all the time as much as you can. Go engage some enemy kingdom's towers. Mega rally them up to, to tear them down. Uh, you know, stress, you know, see what the ultra rallies look like. That's what we're getting into here shortly. Uh, I don't think those were any ultra rallies. No, they were just mega rallies. I haven't been ultra rallied yet. I have the ability to perform an ultra rally, but I haven't ultra rallied anybody yet. That'll be my next little drop. Uh, these drops are going to be inside the Discord only. Uh, so if you saw this video inside my Discord and you want to show people what building up their layers of troops will do to help your alliance as a, as a complete strategy team, because if everybody has the ability to take a hit, it changes the math. It stops a guy like me from picking off your little players filling your mega rallies. So the firewall is important. Uh, remember, I'm telling you how I'm going to beat you. I'm telling you how. The uh, You're either going to be engaging every one of your big players to prevent getting hit. And then I'm just going to pick off the rest of the lines anyway. Or you're not. There's multiple layers of this thing. So there's a, if I do this, I'm going to do that. Well, now, what if he does this and this from that branch? So it goes out, right? Every decision has two counterpoint decisions. Keeps branching. So you're looking at the start of, hey, if I built my firewall, that gives you two options, which gives you two options from each branch of the two options. You know, as things happen and progress. The strategy of this, we will start teaching as we go on. Like I said, Uncharted Sea is not going anywhere. Uh, the newer kingdoms are going to be learning to play a different Guns of Glory than we've been playing for the last four years. And I believe it's a good thing. So uh, I thank you very much.